what up hey man what's up guys this is me i wanna uh i made a video about this we went to the zoo i took my mom she was kind of depressed i saw her cry kind of felt made me feel some type of way so i told my girl that night that same night in the morning we're gonna drive to flagstaff it's a place called out of africa met a couple of dudes i forgot their names one even commented on here i respect that man because he found me on youtube bro and he taught me a lot just to, uh, being at the zoo, even about raw feed and why he feed him and his partner, why they feed uh, certain animals this way and that. And it was just a positive, beautiful vibes. You know what I'm saying? Because I literally hate the zoo. That's why when people here were like, your dog's in a cage. I don't put my dogs in a cage for no reason. If you have dogs, real dogs that are act instantly, you know some dogs cannot eat together. You know some dogs, if you leave them too long somewhere, they'll just destroy things so that's all that is but most of the times my dogs are free i do more things with my dogs than other people do and i don't like seeing dogs in cages but these brothers were taking care of these animals so good i felt i was relieved i was cool another thing um i don't need this to i'm uh i'm not trying to sell your dog one thing you need to understand you don't have to buy my dog and um i'm good with my life I'm happy with my wife. I'm happy with my kids. I'm actually flourishing as an individual. I have everything I ever need. Uh, I only did that because you guys said you like my dog. So I felt like as a family, if you want to get him, here's how. So it's easier to contact me. I don't want to be talking on the phone. This is why I made a website. And then two, I've never sold dogs a lot. I'm getting a lot of orders. I don't want the IRS coming for me. That's why I made my LLC. But I didn't have to. I'm just doing it to protect my butt. You know what I'm saying? But you don't have to buy no dogs for me. I don't, I'm not selling dogs. Uh, in my city, I'm known as the dog guy on its own. So I don't have that kind of problem if I had to live that kind of lifestyle. But the thing is, I don't need that lifestyle. So um, when people spew hate to me, please don't come and say it to me. I don't want to know. You know what I'm saying? One thing I know about people is it, you're a reflection of what you say. So I'm not worried. That tells me about who you are. And when you come and say that to me, it tells me about who you are. You know what I mean? And I'm not judging. I'm not saying I'm God or I have the greatest advice. Like I tell you, you can come here and listen or not. But this was a family thing. I had fun. I grew. I, you know what I'm saying? Um, I had to call off work for two days, <laughs> but it's my mom. You know, I never see, I see her twice a year, meaning she comes over here mostly twice a year and I go over there one time. And so she was here and my mom always spoils me and she knows, she knows I don't need it. So I, I was like, let me spoil her. Let her and the grandkids make memories. You know what I'm saying? And l let us grow. And even on here, like I told you, man, I'm not here to fight you, man. I'm really a good dude, bro. I'm really just a soft, loving dude. Like, yeah, I can fight. Yeah, I can be aggressive. But that was just me you know, doing all this stuff when I was going through something. And when you meet people on here too that have hate and, and spew just destruction, destruction, destruction. And you know what I'm saying? Me, 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 me. And hate, 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 hate. Look, 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 look. You're wrong, 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 wrong. Bro, come on. You should be smart enough to know there's something wrong inside of them, man. Love them, hug them. You know what I'm saying? Instead of promoting that love and hug. You know what I'm saying? But don't come on mine and try to say some stuff. I don't, I'm good, man. I want peace, I told you. My energy is like a, a pipe of water. You know what I'm saying? I don't need it clogged. I need the water to f flow smoothly. You know what I mean? Man, I love you guys. And uh, I might lose some subscribers because of this, because like I said, some people follow people, like they make idols, you know? Like they, you don't, how do you not have a life of your own that you go here and follow these people and really get into what they say man like really like saying that's why i told you too like it was just a lesson to say you don't know me i give you what i want you to see you know what i mean I, it's not that I'm, and i'm not saying in a in a bad word like choose what you bring into your life choose what you watch every day it's some rap music i won't listen to it's some movies i won't watch because it tells you lies television you know what i'm saying it puts vibration and thoughts in your ear most music nowadays, especially from black people, is kill, kill, kill. You know what I'm saying? Take somebody's wife, wife, wife. Or let me go to your house and steal your goods. And, oh, I feel like a person because I'm teaching you how to hate on another man. Like, it's destruction. It's not healthy, man. You know what I'm saying? Go get your money. Do what you love to do and grow, man. It's Zulu Nation. Like and subscribe. You heard? Hey.
Hey guys, welcome to Zulu Nation, where we raise royals. Like and subscribe. Manta! Manta! Okay. Is this the male or the 
Female. Oh, this one is the male. Um, Oh, right there in the corner. Yeah. You can see it. His name is Roosevelt. He's just chilling. We raise warriors, baby. Tino, what's that? No, it's not. Tino, what's that? Exactly. He's like, oh. This way, come take it here. It's all Kevin Durant's. This is all Kevin Durant's right KD. All KD's right here. Look, it's in the water, boy. Under the water. Let's see. King Cobra. Look how tall they get, man. That's that King Cobra, baby. Look how tall my man's get. That's a mom. Look at this King Cobra, bro. Right there. You don't see me. Oh, that one's hiding. Over there. 
That's what she said. What's what's this? He's hiding. He's deep in there. What is it? It's right there, but you can it's a, a Morella. It's from South America. Wow. Python, baby. This is what my mom grew up seeing. You know, who, what, what, your, your father told me one time, he said one time when he was uh, there, the uh, two dogs disappeared and then they got, and one was on the tree and it, it killed the dogs. My grandpa used to see these all the time, baby. Look at that one. That one's red eyes. Yeah. I like snakes. Except the Kevin Durant ones. That's from Asia. Oh, that's awesome. Mom, come down. You never heard. Brothers. What's up, Emma? I'm sorry you in a cage. I hate zoos, bro. I know. Yeah. What's up, Emma? How you doing, boss? Like that, huh? Yeah, and these are smaller because they're enclosed. When if they're in the wild, they'd be way bigger. Chilling. He must be the oldest one because he's bigger. You see how bigger he is than the other ones? He could be the parent or something. I hate zoos. I even have I hate having my dogs in the cage. I don't even lie to you. I throw like when I feed them. Sometimes I feel bad, or when I'm gone long distance, because they will tear up stuff. No, that's not it. Enemy, a peacock. A peacock. A small peacock. Tina, move. Yeah. Wow. You should see it when it goes over. Very long here. All right, so Journey is a Bengal tiger. Bengal. He's seven years old. That's a piece of meat that Brian has on the end of that tether. And that's so that we can train for the toy. You know what happens when you steal from a tiger? You feel unhealthy. So we're coming this way. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. You got a tiger and a Mickey Mouse? Oh my gosh. I didn't think Tiger and Mickey Mouse would run together, Jerry. Oh, no. Jerry, look what, look what Brittany has. Does this get you all happy? This is not so much. So he's casual in his life because no tigers tend to be casual as they get older. They are very casual and confident. So they think things through. Whoa! And, 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 and. and. <laughs> okay, so we're going to swap out here, are we? All right, here we go. Nice catch there. All right, so as you can see, Journey is considering, that is thinking, what to do. Analyze it. Short assistance between two points, he says. Okay, so he is moving along. Pathway to success. Okay. He's casual because he's not going to extend, extend energy that he doesn't need to. He wants, he believes that he's going to get it. And there he goes. And, and, and he's going to go. Nicely done. Yeah. Wow. And he 
got the touch, you got the touch. Yeah. Yeah. Now you still remember you had a chance to come in. You're still not coming in, huh? Oh my gosh. They'll let you go. I'll go in. I'll go in. Yeah. Uh, in there. Is there any way you have? Is that yours? See? Uh oh, there's a trade. There's a trade. That's the offering. So that's like, you know, off. Yeah, don't tear. Don't tear. Uh, journey. Journey. This is a big toy. We can use it some other time. So, Journey. Quick. Quick. Get it back. Oh my gosh. Oh, it's not the stumping out of it. Don't move, Vicky, we'll get you back! Oh, no. What is this? Oh, no. Oh, that's a good one. Okay, go, 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 Good job, everybody. Well done. Wow. Is that fun? You can eat in the water. All right. Do you like the tigers? Yeah. Did you notice that we didn't do any training? We didn't tell them what to do. They did whatever they wanted to do. So that's the idea. Allow them to be themselves. We're triggering specific instincts that have to do with predation. Maybe. Woo! There we go. There we go. That's why you really want to carry it because I want to do this. To that man. Oh, you need this. You feel me? It's them boys, bro. They start laughing. They start. Hey, where's the kids? There it is. He's like, your wife looks tasty. This is how I feel on this planet, to be honest. That's how we are. You can't go too high, no oxygen. You can't go too low, it's too hot. You can't go in the ocean, salt. So, I mean, we're in a cage too. Restaurant yeah. quality, we get it from Shamrock Food and Farms. I am not exaggerating when I say these cats eat better quality meat than I do. Um, but yeah, also we get horses donated to us as well from local ranchers and farmers. But we only take in horses that are either very, very old very, very injured, or have lost three consecutive races. Um, I'm kidding about the last part. I'm kidding about the last part. But no, we do take in horses that are uh, very old or injured. We will contact that horse's veterinarian, confirm, in fact, the best course of action for that horse is to be euthanized. They will bring them to us. We euthanize them, butcher them, and feed them out. So 
not only is it really good for us to get this really good quality meat, uh, it's also very good for these local ranchers because to euthanize your horse in the state of Arizona, it's going to cost you about $1,500 to do so. Then it has to show up to your farm, sedation drugs, euthanization drugs, and because Arizona is a well state, you cannot bury your horse on your own property. You now have to hire someone with a truck and chain to drag it where it goes and rots in a landfill. So uh, we're going to wait for a couple more of the keepers to come back. We're going to feed these two. Check it out, man. It's what cats eat, turkeys, chicken, got some uh, grade A. That's a lot of blood. That's a fun. That's a lot of fun. this one out of the way. No, it's all <laughs> good. Go. Listen, he's curious. That's how I was when I was a kid. Come on, guys. What? Do what? You know what? No, you're just watching. They just throw them in there. You know. Megan, but the excuse us, guys. We're going right over this bar right here. Pretty close. This is all great A restaurant quality beef. One more time, guys. Come through. Please. I think so. Chitabi. <laughs> All right, guys, so this is Chippa oh and Chitami, the African no, no, no. spotted hyenas, otherwise known <laughs> as the <laughs> Latin hyenas. Let's see. Uh, Chitabi, is Tony going to have a date tonight? <laughs> Just Nico, a back up, Ajabu! Ajabu! Pay attention! Ajabu! Alright, ready? One, two, three! Oh! So, yeah, guys, the reason why Ajabu did not catch that chicken is because we actually got him from Michigan, and you guys know <laughs> Detroit Lions can't catch anything. Here we go. Alright, you guys are good to come up. Excuse me. So, you guys are fine. Don't want to get. Hey, Nico. Let everybody see how when you're done. Don't cry. Oh. Yeah. Rafi's the best feed. Right. Yeah, these are the stars of the tiger splash. Hey, Mom, I'm taking video. She's the tiger. They're Cincinnati fans. Yeah. So. <laughs> <laughs> They don't fight living together? No, they've actually, they were born on the same day, were introduced at two weeks, and they've lived together their entire lives. Now, when it's dinner time, that's a different story. Question. Yeah, it's a whole different story, which is why we try and feed them separately. Uh, because, yeah, big cats will fight uh, okay. if you feed them together. That's cool. And that white, they said that white and yellow, that was in the show, they have brothers? Uh, they are full brothers. Full brothers? Full brothers. Full brothers. See, I told you, man. Cause she's like, why is it white? I was like, genetics. He's got yeah, that color. Yeah, it is. So basically, he's not like an albino or anything. The white tiger 
basically to make uh, both parents have to pass down a recessive gene. So if you look at like, uh, think of it as like if you look at a strand of Gabriel the White Tiger's DNA, there's just a little bit of information that's lacking to give them the pigment to the orange. Oh, okay. <laughs> That's a beautiful one right there. All right, excuse me, guys. All right, behind you. Coralia. They have a horse and we'll put them down here, and uh, they have to be uh, injured or old and they have to have the yeah they have to have the veterinarian sign off on it and then and only then we even think about taking uh any type of donation whether it's chicken or something like that we're just very good on it. how old is this one cora is 12 cora's 12 cora is 12. Look, you could tell she's more filled out than yeah. the other ones that's yep, how i was yep. like and they're all different Different genetics, different shapes, different sizes, just like we are. So, yeah. like these girls over here are. Uh, yeah, well, you guys already feed uh, Lady and Kayla? Yeah, they Because yeah. the other ones. These girls over here, they already grub their stuff up. Now, they only get a little bit because their metabolism suggests so. If I feed. Uh, Kayla gets a little less than her sister Lady, and that's just because their metabolisms are different. Um, so if I try to feed Kayla the same thing as I do Lady, Kayla will just get fatter and fatter and fatter. <laughs> if I don't feed her enough, she'll just keep getting skinnier yeah, and skinnier. skinnier. So you start to find a fine line in there, and also age has a role to play in it. Uh, what else? The size of the habitat, how often we bring them to the arena and, the, and play. Do you interact with them, like touch them and stuff? These and, guys, we do go up to the fence and pet them but uh we don't go in with these guys it's okay. too dangerous um we didn't get to work with them when they were babies and uh but we love them all the same um, and then how often do you get like animals here like and how do you get them like do you um, a lot of them we like to keep our uh habitats open and ready for rescues that's okay. how we like to because they um, said one was got from an apartment when we we're doing the tiger yeah surprise. that was gabriel and journey they came from an apartment down in gilbert arizona how old were they when you got them well i think they were like six months old so they're about 150 pounds Jeez. so they were really cool thank you sir yeah, thank absolutely. you Oh, y'all cold? Look, they cuddle. What is that? A porcupine. Uh -huh. Porcupine, you don't see them? Oh, that's the thing that they take their things from, right? Mm hmm. But that sometimes. I want to there for free. Get his long sticks, so I can have it. Yeah, I want it too. Come here. No, they're wolves, man. That's not a German Shepherd. No, I'm saying they're beautiful. They are like. Oh, German Shepherds do come oh, from wait, wolves. Dad, can I get. Mm. Can I get um, a toy that looks like that? It's a tiger, man. Yeah? Come over here. They said there's a lot more. No, uh, wolves, man. Because you're prey. You're prey. This place is survival of the fittest. Halala, 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 halala,